So without giving him any corrections, we're going to go ahead and show you somewhat what the owners go through when he's not walking under guidance, he's doing this. So this is a type of dog that can really, really injure himself. He pretty much does what he wants. You know, so if I'm holding on here, this is, there's really nothing I can do. This is what the owners are used to sort of dealing with. And they hold on. And they hold on, he goes. When he's ready to go, this is what we see. This is no way to walk a dog. It's no, it's horrible that a dog should ever have to go through feeling this. But at the same time, as much as I pull, he pretty much rides through it. So we worked him for a couple of days. So he's, he's understanding this a little bit, but it's not where it should be. And that's the problem that right now I can do this, but I shouldn't have to do this much. It should be more along the lines of something like this and pressure comes off. But as you can see, I can pull, I can pull, I can pull, I can pull and he stays like a brick. So I pull a little bit more, and he really doesn't know what to do. I pull a little bit more, and he still doesn't know what to do. I pull some more, and he still really doesn't understand it. So what we want to do is we want to teach him to understand not to do this. Because he goes, and there's nothing I could do. So what we're going to experiment with today is introducing him to another alternative. We're actually going to get into something that's really, really controversial. It's going to be, um, it's gonna be a remote collar. And one of the, the biggest misconceptions or, or, or uh, I, guess, I guess problems that people have with this is they think that dogs are being shocked and, and, and zapped. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that the, the levels that we're, we eventually start working him on, I'm pretty positive that the average human won't feel it, his working level. Now his correction level, you'll feel a little bit, but it, it doesn't hurt. And that's, that's what most people assume because they, they label it as a shock collar. So uh, we're going to walk into the park over here and kind of go from there. So what we want to do is we want to sort of let him get fixated and sort of do his own thing. What we're going to do is we're going to start tapping. And what I'm waiting for is a cue. A cue when I see him lose interest in what he's looking at. Right there, I'm pretty sure he felt it. We're gonna try again, we're gonna see. Right there. So that's level five, and that was when he was intense. I'm willing to bet that he actually feels level three, but he's not there yet. Level five, I don't think humans can feel. And we can test that out, we can try it. But uh, prior to that, I will tell you that we're probably gonna go up in levels and push the limits to try to get him down. But we have to start where he is. He's all the way up here and bring him down so that he can actually function on low levels because he's not used to that. So once he realizes that the pressure only adds when he stays stubborn, he's very, very quickly going to respond to the, the minimal amount of pressure and we're, we're going to be able to work him on three, which no human can feel, right? So we have him on five now and the goal here is to apply pressure right there. The pressure comes off literally the second he makes that commitment. So we'll let him get in the zone again. Little pressure right there. All right? We'll let him get intrigued. Pressure right there. And you can tell by his body language, he's not being hurt. Pressure right there. Good. And this is level five. What we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these kids in a little bit, and we're going to uh, see if they feel it. Let's try it one more time. Let's get them intrigued in something. Right here, pressure. Good. All right. So he knows sit a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to apply pressure. And I'm going to dial up. We're at five. We're now at seven. So that was a little bit of a breaking point for him. And it's only seven. This goes up to level 100. Most humans don't start. They barely start to feel it at around like seven and eight. Like barely. Like it's like a little, almost like a fly lands on you. So now we're going to go back to four, which you've never been on before. And we're going to start to see if he responds to that. Pressure, right there. 
So now we're on four, and we're starting to get that. All right, so now we're gonna experiment with distance, and the goal is to get him away from me. Okay, so we'll let him go, here we go, pressure. Come on, right there, pressure off. So we didn't even have any leash that time, which is really cool. So we'll let him sort of go out. Here we go, pressure. Pressure. Good boy. So this is the beginning of teaching him to stay close to you. Now what I can start to do, because the goal for this is to teach him to start responding to this the same way he responds to this pressure. Everything's pressure. The concept is pressure. Spatial pressure, step in to create a sit. I can do something like this. Spatial pressure. This little tap, when I do this, I'm gonna tap this at the same time because this is now something that he knows and this is something that he doesn't respond to, right? So we can teach him to be 100% off leash and we can also use it to teach this to now represent something. So when the owners are walking, I'm on a leash and they do that, he doesn't try to barrel through. He goes, oh, I know what that is. So this is all conditioning, it's all patterning, it's creating a foundation, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna tap right there. Now we're incorporating the leash back into things. So you can mix and match, which is really cool. Here's a little tap right there. Tap again. And keep in mind, we're on level four. So we're going lower with this and a little bit higher with this, with the leash. Lower with the remote, higher with the leash. We'll go right here, tap, 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 right there. Right here, perfect opportunity, tap, right there. <laughs> We're on level three. So what we can do here now is, I'll sit him again really quickly, sit, sit, good. What we can do here is we can begin to cue in our voice. So now that we're gonna cue in our voice, I can start saying, Baxter, let's go, or Baxter, come on. So I could say, Baxter, good. So now Baxter is eventually gonna start to have meaning, right? We'll let him walk out. Baxter, good boy. Good job, buddy. Good job, good job, good job. Here we go again, Baxter. Yes. So let me show you the level that we're on. Level three, right? Now he's starting to feel level three. We have to go up to six with him. That was when he started to feel six, seven, I think. I forgot what I said. And now we've got him down there. Even six, seven, people can't feel. So the next step, for those of you that are not familiar with this, is to let you guys see what level three really is. You're going to be astonished. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you guys. I'm training this dog on a remote collar. A lot of people call it a shock collar because they think that we shock the dogs, but I'm shooting a video to basically show how gentle it is. So the level that we're working on, most humans can't even feel. I was wondering if we could get you guys on camera feeling it for the first time, because I know you guys are probably gonna think I'm gonna shock you, but I'm, I'm not gonna shock you. You guys cool with that? Yeah. 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 We're gonna start it on zero and I'm gonna, I'm gonna guide you the whole way, all right? And I'll show you, just so you see. So I'm gonna turn it this way. When it shows red, you can hold your hand there. When it shows red, that's when it's actually going on. So we're on level one. Do you feel that? No. All right, you let me know. We're gonna go to level two. This goes all the way up to 100. 100 you would definitely feel, but level two. Uh, level three. No, I don't. So this is the level that we got back to down to. You definitely don't feel that, huh? No. All right. Level four. Nothing? You think maybe it's broken? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> five. Nothing? You yeah. keep it there. It's, it's on. Uh, Six. Nothing. Seven. Nothing. Not. Eight. A little, yeah. You no. feel a little, yeah, it's right? Not, it's not like a sting or nothing. It's just like a little, I don't know. It's like a little tap or something. What does that feel like? So he feels it on eight. And that's actually where we got up to with Baxter, where he actually went like this. So that's pretty cool. You guys, you want to try it? No, nah, you scared? <laughs> Why, you think it's going to hurt? You're good? You want to try this real quick? I, I just want to see what level you feel it on. That's, that's it. Let's turn it over that way. You can hold it right there. 
Uh, all right, I'll show you. Level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, level seven, level eight. That's when he started to feel it. Level nine, level 10. Nothing? Wait, I feel but, a little tired. All right, let's see. Yeah, I feel a little You feel a little bit? Yeah. All right, so now that he feels 10, we're going to try something with him. We're going to go back down to 9. Do you feel that? Nah, we'll go back up to 10. Do you feel that? Yeah. All right, we're going to try 9 again. Wait, you feel that? You feel 10, right? Yeah. All right. You feel 9? No. No? All right, so 10 is his working level. What does that feel like to you? How would you describe it? It's like little taps like these little like like on my on, on my wrist does it hurt it's almost like a fly landed on you or yeah, something like, just kind of yeah, like a little taps yeah oh, like it's, it's, like, a, it's like a fly right yeah, yeah. yeah. all right you barely feel it. guys i appreciate is that supposed to make a drop stop <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is man it is what well, when you teach them to respond to it in the beginning is tough though but but we get them down there so it, it, it's a it's something that people think is horrible and it can be used horribly but it could also be that little tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, all right, let me ask you, you guys ever take hearing tests in school? You ever put the hearing test on, you put the headphones, and they, they started the test 30 seconds ago, but you didn't know, and then they ask you, they're like, yo, do you hear it? And you're like, oh, you started? So then, then you realize, all right, now you know you're supposed to, to really listen, and then you start to be able to hear it. It's the same thing with that. It's like the dogs don't know, they feel it, but they don't know that they're supposed to respond to it. And then you just, you raise it up a little bit and now they know and then you just push the limits to get it down lower so that they really have to focus and they go, oh, I feel that. And they come onto you and they come closer. Right, so that, that's basically the concept. That makes sense. That makes sense. That yeah. big dog stopped by that little... By level three, right? And you, could you feel level three? Nah. But you, you felt it on what, level seven? Nine. Yeah, uh, at level nine. You, Wait, eight. You yeah, you were eight and you were 10, right? Yeah. You were 10. I felt a little beat on 10. <laughs> a, a little beat. Yeah, yeah, a little beat. <laughs> Cool, man. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks again.